Welcome to What Was Mommy Thinking? My name's Crystal. If you're new here, I'm a full-time working mom. I live in the state of Texas with my husband and my three amazing boys. And today's video is sort of a hybrid, kind of new thing for me. I thought today I would take you along as I try to get back into some of my routines and get back on track with my Weight Watchers, maybe show you guys a little bit about what I eat in the day, some of the things that I'm able to accomplish before work, on my lunch break, and on small little breaks in between, trying to get back into all of my little schedules and things that have fallen by the wayside over the last few weeks. So if you're interested in that, stick around and let's see what we can get done today. Every morning, unless I have something cooking in the crock pot, I like to go ahead and light a candle. Just helps the house smell good. And when I walk out in between meetings, it's always so nice. Mm. My German Shepherd is donating her two cents worth. So after I do this, I'm going to fix my cup of coffee. And then we're gonna go into my office and unpack my baseball bag camera equipment and get everything back on the battery chargers so that I'm not in a rush before the next tournament to get it done and I know it's taken care of. Let's get some coffee. Okay, so this is our coffee maker. It is a Hamilton Beach Flex Brew. We absolutely love this thing and when it does decide to quit working, we will definitely replace it with the exact same thing. My husband and I kind of split a cup of coffee every morning I've got a little bit of stevia down there in the bottom. And I fill it almost to the top. And then I throw in some sugar-free vanilla cream. So I do about three tablespoons, but this morning there's not quite that much in the bottle. So we're just going to finish off the bottle. And go for it, because i got to get to get going. Oh, this... This, this is what good mornings are made out of here in this household. <laughs> is it not going to focus for us today? Maybe. Okay. If you're wondering where I got these cups, it came in a two set, one black one, one white one. Um, back Black Friday for Christmas, I think I paid $12 for both of them. Um, as you can see, the paint does start to chip off after a while, which I'm perfectly fine with because it still keeps the coffee hot literally for hours. All right. Another little chore I have to do is I have to feed my Shih Tzu half of his food. And so I'm going to go ahead and do that. We do keep it in the fridge when it's part of a container. So you're holding my quid and you'll definitely hear my German Shepherd drinking in the background. Rude. Rude. On the menu this morning for me for breakfast is my still cut oatmeal. You guys will see me make this here in a little bit. I just do a little bit of sugar-free maple syrup, some um, cinnamon. Oh, there's our bell. And a little bit of stevia. All right. Breakfast is served for the little pup. Here you go, now let's go see what else we got to get done before work starts. All right, one task I have to do every day is to vacuum out my dog's cage. I pull the cage out, vacuum back there, vacuum the shelves where her hair kind of flies up into there, and that kind of helps control things between deep cleans. So I'm going to not put you guys through the experience of the vacuum cleaner noise, but this is just one task on my AM checklist every morning. Yeah. 
I didn't get done yesterday after baseball was I did not get my bag unpacked <clears throat> specifically this bag this is the bag that I keep all of my camera and battery equipment in and uh, so I want to get this unpacked before I start work today so I'm going to scoot this over a little bit this is my um little case that holds the GoPro that we video games with and as you can see it broke this tournament I've had this for quite some time I definitely will be replacing it because these little legs here wrap around pretty much anything and hold my GoPro in place so that I get good film of all of the games all right so in my little pink pouch I right now just have cables which is fine I can just zip that up and put it back I've got my battery pack here that is attached to my GoPro battery charger and cable. So this sits on this base back here and I absolutely love those batteries. This gets plugged in way back here. And then I'll know it's charging by the lights. <clears throat> Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to hit you guys. Sorry about the bobble. And these are my earbuds. Um, I paid like 30 bucks for these on Amazon. I love them. They've got volume control. This is a battery pack. This is the other battery pack that goes back here. <clears throat> this is a battery pack. This is a battery pack that these all have flashlights on them, these battery packs. And to be perfectly honest with you, I'm not even really sure how to turn that off. So let's try this. Okay, that worked. Battery pack. My one lonely little leg that broke off. And then I keep my camera in this box that I take all of my still photos with. So in it, I just need to take out battery, battery, and 
Make sure, yep, make sure my SD card is still in there. This can go back in my bag. All right, so this can go over here. And then these plug into this little charger back here. And I'm gonna move that over. <clears throat> That's my GoPro. It should be empty right now, yeah. This is my other GoPro battery. And I'm gonna plug these back in. Oh, the choo-choo train is it coming. As I plug them in, they light up blue. It's pretty cool. Um, this one. And then the last one. Now, there's a white one of these missing. I think that one of my boys had it. And then I have a square one that I know is in my husband's truck that I need to go and get and get it charged before the next tournament. But luckily for me, that's two weeks away. So that is one task off of my to-do list for this morning because my middle son will be sitting here to do school this week. So I wanted to have enough space for him to set up here and not have to worry about any of that. So let's move on to whatever's next. All right, so one of the things that I need to do is go into my planner. And before I turn to my work section, I'm going to go to my catch-all section. And today starts a new week in that. And I went ahead and planned See, you can see some of them are blank, but we're moving past those weeks, right? So this is last week that just ended. This is this week. So I'm super excited to start in this and get all of this filled out this week and stay on track. But I wanted to show you guys that back under my, so here's meal plans. We've already looked at that in my grocery haul and meal plan video. The next tab is chores. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Okay, so that's chores. And this is where I keep my AM and PM routine cheat sheet. This is something I've had done for a really long time. I've shown it in another video before. But um, getting up every morning, of course, coffee, which you guys will see me do. Making my bed. Right now my husband's still in it because he's on um, overnights this week. So I will make that as soon as he gets up this afternoon. Swishing and swiping the bathrooms I have not done. Starting a load of laundry. I am waiting on one more towel from my son and I'll get a load of whites going. I did vacuum out the dog's cage. I did put away all of the air dried dishes. I did feed my smaller pup and checking my planner for appointments, dinner preparations, and to-do lists. So, no appointments today. Tonight for dinner, we're having instant pot shrimp alfredo, and my to-do list, I'm getting ready to write for the day. Again, I am just trying to get back on track. I don't expect myself to get 100% of this done today. We were at a baseball tournament all weekend, so making the bed today means actually changing the sheets and making a fresh bed for all four beds because I wasn't home to do it on Sunday. So we're going to get as much of this done today as I can, and whatever I don't, it's okay. We are just going for progress, right? And then my PM routine is making sure I go to bed with clean kitchen countertops, putting that one load of laundry that I washed in the morning, fold it, dry it, put it away, whatever needs to happen there, sweeping up the tile in the kitchen and dining areas, organizing and going through any mail and believe me um, unfortunately this has gotten a little bit backed up so this is going to take a little bit tonight checking my planner for the next day and then if we go over to this little schedule um, on Monday it's my miscellaneous day so today's chores are to clean the glass on the front door the back doors the curio cabinet and to wipe down the exterior of any kitchen appliances 
I um, will try and get these things done. I can piece them and parts them. I can do them on little bathroom breaks for work or I can do them over my lunch break, but I will get these things done today. So let's get at this Monday. Let's tackle it with some positivity and some motivation to just make progress, not be perfect. Whatever we get done today, it will be enough. So here's the list that I've gotten done so far for this morning. Um, this is things that I hope to get done today, but knowing full well that not all of this is probably going to get done today. The laundry, I'm just focusing on sheets and towels today for chores, um, feeding Boomer, laying the candle, vacuuming the dog's cage, putting away the air dried dishes, and then opening the curtains and blinds. That's all AM routine stuff and um, is pretty much done by the time I'm filming this. For chores today, those are those chores that we went over today that are on my list for Monday. For meal prep, I need to make my son's sodium-free bread today and freeze some ground beef and then brown some ground beef for a couple of dishes like tacos next week, beefy onion casserole for tomorrow, and burger bowls for lunches. And then I need to clean out one of the refrigerators. My tasks for today, I have an email to send. I need to balance my bank account and pay some bills after a weekend of baseball. And then for PM routine, I just wrote down some of those chores. So we will see how far we get today, but it looks like it's going to be a good day.
I'm thinking back on all those times When I feel close to from All that I could become Eager but too scared to climb Wanted to please my friends But it felt like the end of myself everybody so let's start with breakfast this is one cup of steel cut oats that I made as overnight oats I put a little bit of stevia in there I'm going to throw in a teaspoon of sugar-free maple syrup and I just use the Kroger that is zero points and then I'm going to add just a dash of the ground cinnamon a little bit in there and I will have this with a banana. And if you are on Weight Watchers, I am on the green plan. This is four points. I believe it is the same no matter which plan that you're on. And it is super filling. It has a lot of protein and fiber in it. And it keeps me full well into the afternoon. All right, so it is now time for lunch. I thought we would do that together. I'm gonna grab a couple of items that I'm gonna need. I've got my plate here. I'm gonna have a wrap and some fruit. This is my last wrap in this package. These are the Olay Extreme Wellness High Fiber, and they are the smaller ones. They're one point a piece on Weight Watchers, and I believe that's all of the plans. And then what I'm gonna do is put it on my little food scale here and turn it on so that I can weigh out some Black Forest ham. So I want to go over to ounces on my scale and I'm going to go until I get three ounces of ham. How do I want to do this? Maybe this way. That is two. So maybe one more slice. Does that give me three? That gives me perfectly three ounces. So I can take that off, set my scale aside, and now I just want to add some other things. I've got some, obviously some fruit and some veggies that I need to use up before they go completely bad. Um, I need to clean out my refrigerator today. I don't know if that's going to happen, but what I do know is going to happen is that I'm going to have some lunch. So, use a little bit of lettuce. I've got some diced onions that we had left over from um, another meal and from making salads. So I'm just gonna grab a couple of little slivers of red onion and put that on my salad as well, or my sandwich as well, or wrap. And I'm gonna put some yellow mustard. Now, I do like mayonnaise. I love mayonnaise, as a matter of fact. But it adds points. So for today, because I'm not sure yet what I'm doing for dinner, I have the boys' dinner planned out, but not mine and my husband's. 
So I want to save some coins for supper. And the tortilla is one. The ham for three ounces, I believe, is one or two. I'll look it up here in just a second. The pickles are nothing. The mustard is nothing. The lettuce and the onion are, of course, nothing. Um, so my goal is to keep it somewhere right around two or three points for the entire wrap because I do have my protein snack box for later on today for a snack. So I do not typically do a very good job of closing these wraps. I typically get mustard everywhere, all up in my fingernails, make a big old mess, and I have to go wash my hands. So I'll be right back. All right, so sorry about the whole lunch situation, guys. My wrap ended up being three points, one point for the wrap, two points for the three ounces of Black Forest ham, nothing for the mustard and the veggies. I thought I hit record when I came back from washing my hands, but obviously I didn't. I had it with some grapes and some blueberries. Sorry, grapes and strawberries. Hello. My mind is mush on Monday. Okay, so my lunch was just that. So it was a three-point lunch because the fruit didn't count for anything. This is that snack box that I referred to. I made these over the weekend, put them in the fridge. I made myself four of them. My husband's are a little bit different. I'll go through really quickly what's in here with you guys. Ouch. Okay, so... In here, I have one point worth of Triscuit Thins. I have a Laughing Cow Garlic and Herb, which is also one point, so that's two. Two points for my boiled egg, so we're up to four. Some baby carrots, a mandarin orange, a little bit of Greek yogurt with Hidden Valley Ranch dressing mix in it for zero, and then one point worth of turkey pepperoni. This whole snack box is five points total, and it is worth every single point. So I'm gonna eat this, and then I think for dinner, I might use some of that ground beef to make egg roll bowls for my husband and I. The boys will be having shrimp alfredo. So if I make egg roll bowls, then I can put part of it aside for leftover lunches for the week and get on down the road. So five points here, let's keep going. Okay, last meal of the day. As you can see, I have 22 points remaining on Weight Watchers. On the scale here, I have some chicken tenders that I'm going to throw in the air fryer. I have 10 and 7 eighths ounces. So all I'm going to do is on my phone here, hit the scan button. And then I'm going to scan the chicken tenders. Alright, so it shows the Tyson chicken breast. And I'm going to change it here. I'm going to go to 10 and 7 eighths because I, yeah, all right. So I'm going to track that food for dinner. And then the other thing that we're having with dinner are some of the Arby's fries. And all of this is going in the air fryer, so nothing will be added to it. Um... It looks like I can have one and a third cups or 84 grams um, for six points. So let's just, I mean, pick any of them, I guess. I can use this food and track that food for dinner. And what that leaves me is three points for the rest of the day. So. I know that I'm going to have some sugar-free ketchup that I have in the fridge. Um, or wait, my, actually mine's no sugar added. It's ketchup. Oops. K-E-T-C H-U-P No sugar. Sugar. Heinz no sugar added. <clears throat> Excuse me. I know that I'm going to probably have two tablespoons with those fries. I'm going to go ahead and track that food. And then I have some G. Hughes sugar free 
barbecue sauce and I'll get two tablespoons of that and eat that with my chicken tenders. That leaves me two points left for the day. That is not enough, whoops, that is not enough for a built bar, which is something I like to have at the end of every day. I do, however, have a three point built bar and I have three fit points remaining. I'm not even sure that that has synced here lately. Let me see if I can sync my Fitbit data and refresh that. I may have more than three fit points to use. Fit points are different than your weekly um, points, so I don't mind using my fit points at all. Um, and let's go back. So I only have three. So that's what I'm gonna have for dinner. We're gonna throw it in the air fryer. No added oil, no added fat. I will probably have that built bar and use one of my fit points putting me at one point over of my daily allowance of 35, but keeping me within my fit points and not tapping into my weekly points. So that is it for today. All right, so I went ahead and um, refreshed my Fitbit and then updated it here in the app. And um, I actually have a little bit more steps than that, but it still probably is about that five point range. So I am gonna go ahead and have that built bar. This is the boat bar that I'll be having tonight. It is the um, double chocolate. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the scanner function on my app and scan that in. And you can see that it's three points. I'm gonna put it over there under snack and track that food. So that's gonna round it out for me for today. That's gonna finish out my, my day. I'm gonna have zero points left. I will have used 36, my daily allotment is 35, and I have three um, fit points remaining. And that's gonna be it for today. Well guys, this is my final check-in for today. I did get all of the sheets washed. My blanket off of my bed is in the washing machine right now. The last set of sheets is in the dryer. All the other sheets are upstairs. As far as the meal prep goes, let's talk about real life for a second. I was supposed to make shrimp alfredo today. Didn't know that we were completely out of butter. So when I went to make dinner, it was a complete and total flop. We weren't able to make dinner, so we had to tap into whatever reserves we had in the freezer. So as you saw just a minute ago, I'm having the air fryer um, chicken strips by Tyson and some Arby's fries. All of that will be thrown into the air fryer. Um, we had a ton of options for the kiddos. My son's, my son's got his tuna salad that's low sodium. We also have a couple of other options for him. We had stuff in the freezer for the other kids, plus we had stuff to make sandwiches. So everybody's fine for this evening, um, and I was able to find something and stick to my Weight Watchers points, but this stuff here did not happen. It didn't get done, so it's gonna be moved over to tomorrow's. My tracking of my my food in my app I did do that all day got all my tasks done and then for tonight I've just got to do my kitchen countertops a 10 minute declutter sweep and go through the mail so I'm gonna try and get all of these done if it doesn't happen I am so happy with all of this stuff that did get done I'm really pleased with it especially for a Monday and it was a very busy Monday so I'm really happy about this stuff here I'm gonna try and tackle this tomorrow with my chores for tomorrow and my stretch goal of getting my office clean that did not happen but luckily that is tomorrow's daily chore just like cleaning the glass and stuff was today I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video if you have please give it a thumbs up it helps the channel it helps me know what kind of content to bring and I like sharing pretty much everything with you guys so until next time guys I hope you have an amazing day I hope your week started off great and just keeps going I'll see you in the next video everybody bye bye